What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random, and I was this close to not releasing this video. The reason for that is because I spent so much time and so many hours on so many different camera angles, getting all that good footage for you guys, and somehow some of the files got corrupted, so the video is kind of like chopped up in different pieces. So this introduction is just to kind of get you guys on track so it's not confusing or anything like that. As you can see, it's gonna already completely, totally different time of day. But one of the first parts that was skipped in the videos is how much of a pain in the ass it was to remove this computer here from the Crown Vic. And it also skipped out on the part where I actually figured out how to mount it right here to the frame. So what you guys are about to watch is the after part. All right, so now that I got the computer thing situated, I mounted it over here. I mean, this thing is as solid as it's gonna be. The other issue that we have encountered is all these cables that are hanging. Uh, eventually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a bar welded that's gonna come out like this. It's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a bracket or a bar, whatever you wanna call it. And that's where all the cables will eventually mount up to. But for now, I'm gonna have to probably zip tie them and tie strap them to this bracket right here just to kind of hold them up. And the next part that was skipped in the video is I actually removed, let me show you guys right there, the plastic wheel covers that were covering the wheels of the Crown Vic. That was another pain in the ass, but I somehow got it done. It was hilarious watching me struggle and start kicking it, beating the crap out of it. But unfortunately, those files got deleted as well. And then this is where the rest of the video takes off when I was addressing the intake issue. So enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we uh, finally got that piece of plastic cover out of the way. The next step is actually to find some sort of way to fit that intake the way I wanted it. I'm pretty sure the barbed wire will hold it up the way I was thinking, but these pipes are a little bit too small. I need something that's gonna be just about an inch uh, wider. And the way I'm thinking is I might just have to get some PVC. So I'm gonna have to go to a local hardware store and uh, grab me a little piece of PVC and uh, hope for the best. All right, so I decided to skip out on the hardware store and the PVC idea. I figured all I really want is for the intake to be poking upwards and that can be still achieved with the current intake that I have now. But, but before we see if that idea is gonna work, there's nothing like freshly brewed Lipton iced tea on a hot summer day. Mm, Lipton iced tea, the best tea bag you'll ever have. Lipton iced tea. You get tea bags so hard you forget how hot it is. Holy shit. All right, so I decided to scrap the bracket over here and then using the barbed wire to wrap that around. I got something else planned for that barbed wire, but for now, this is what I decided to go with. I'm gonna mount the bracket actually right there and there on that uh, bolt that's connected to all the brake lines and stuff like that. And you guys will see in a moment exactly what I'm talking about. Actually, scrap that idea. This bracket right here that holds this uh, brake cylinder thing right here is not cooperating. So, what I did was I just kind of shoved it in there and now I'm just gonna tighten the hell out of this thing and that bracket should not move anywhere. At the end of that, I might have to zip tie this end right here. Now, the reason I've been so adamant about, the reason I'm so adamant about having this uh, intake pointing upwards as you guys can see, it's because all the dirt and all that stuff is gonna be picked up when I'm doing racing, when I'm dirt racing out there in the middle of nowhere, it's gonna be 
the way the intake was before was right here and i want it to be as far off the ground as possible and i think this method right here really achieved that not to mention it actually looks pretty damn cool so the next step is i'm gonna actually have a little plan for this barbed wire hope you guys like what i do with it ta-da yes uh, in case there's anybody wondering if there's anybody who has any doubts these are real barbed wires <laughs> my hands can attest to that this isn't some prop shop plastic this is a real deal holy feel what better place than to put it right in the front and center on the push bar of the helvic i'm gonna have to tighten this up a little bit more but i'll work that out later on it's too damn hot right now but i'm done for today hope you guys enjoyed watching this little video Hey man, what are you doing your day off? I wanna go watch a movie with a family. How about you? Oh, you know, I just uh, removed the fenders off my apocalypse car and string some barbed wire through its push bar. No biggie. Anyways, if you guys wanna uh, catch some bloopers, hey, stop chewing on my hose. If you guys wanna catch some bloopers of me uh, in today's video, go ahead and just wait out to right after I'm done petting this stupid dog. She's a good girl. Either way, hope you guys enjoy the hell big. Hope you guys are looking forward to seeing more of this beast it's your boy mr randall take it easy there's nothing there's nothing like ice cold there's nothing like ice cold brewed lipton iced tea on a whole on a there's nothing like i there's nothing like ice there's nothing like freshly brewed there's nothing like freshly brewed lipton iced tea on a cold there's nothing like 